Hey everybody, it's Rob Vegas and I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia with another awesome video. This time we're heading back to the old Rob Vegas MasterChef kitchen and we're going to cook up a real Aussie specialty, the pie floater. Now if you don't know what this is, um, strap yourself in, it's going to be a wild ride. And it's going to be a heap of fun. So let's head over to the old MasterChef Rob Vegas kitchen. I'll see you there. So first order of business is we have to get the cats off the bench, as you do, because that's just, yeah, that's what it is. For those of you that don't know what a pie floater is, um, it's probably for the best that you don't. But anyway, we're getting a good old Aussie meat pie and going to do something potentially pretty heinous to it. So stand by and get ready for the fun. Okay, so we've got three ingredients. We have a classic Aussie 4 and 20 pie. We've got some Aussie tomato sauce. So that's always good. We've got some mushy peas, and these are from the UK. So United Kingdom, shout out to all my friends over there and all my fans. Only reason I got them was I couldn't find any Aussie mushy peas. So we had to roll with that. Now, this is the key. We've got to put this guy on for about 45 minutes. And we're using old mate convection oven. You might remember him from the last video. So you can pop him in, in the packaging according to the instructions. It says that's cool, made in Australia, perfect. So what we're gonna do is Um, excuse me, we're going to pop him in there as per the details. It's going to be about 40 minutes apparently. That's all right. 180 degrees. How does that sound? Then we're going to get back to this in a little short while. So stand by for action. Okay, so you can hear the pie cooking in the oven in the background. Let's go check in on it. No worries. Now, let's check this out. Bachelor's Original Mushy Peas. So normally I get some just Aussie peas. Um... But yeah, just couldn't find them today at the old supermarket. These things happen. So we've got these ones. So thanks United Kingdom for hooking us up. What we're going to do is open this bad boy up. And we're going to pop him in one of these uh, plastic tubs. Because we want to warm them up in the microwave. And we can't really... Yeah, it's not a good plan to warm them up in the microwave when they're still in the tin because you'll probably explode your house or something worse than that anyway let's check them out I've not had these guys before here we go a bit of can opening action oh these dudes do look mushy that's going to need a rinse. That can go in the bin. Um, yeah, there we go. How about that? Looks like a green solid glob. Anyway, let's pop him into one of these tubs. Like so, and see what the res what the result is. 
Look at that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's gradually dissolving. And let's oi oi you don't want you don't you really don't want that. Now there is two stages of existence. Life before mushy peas and life after mushy peas. That is a hell of a thing. Look at it. <laughs> so what we're going to do shortly, once our meat pie is prepared, is we're going to heat this up in the microwave and yeah we'll be pie floatering it so shout out to weird Aussie cuisine so good stuff alright some cooking action that pie is on the go so all good. Probably got about another 15, 20 to go. Uh, yeah, let's roll. So these mushy peas from a can, I popped them in this plastic tub and he's gonna go in the microwave soon. I gave him a bit of a shake up. They still mushy. Tomato sauce. It's tomato sauce, so all good there. Alright, you can hear the oven cooking the pie in the background, so that's good. Now it's time to prepare the peas. So we got mushy peas as per bachelors. We're going to pop them in the microwave as per our super cooking technique. Bang, that'll do. So apparently pie floaters date back to the 1830s here in Australia, so that's pretty cool. It is a very odd dish, and you'll see how odd it is in a few moments. Uh, they used to be served by pie carts, like, kind of like your hot dog sort of vendors in New York but yeah you know you'd go out for a few drinks or something like that on the way home get a pie floater you're getting a hell of a lot of peas you're getting a pie and yeah that would get you across the line much like a souvlaki and things like that a bit yeah oh good we're rocking the pie floater it's coming up so Get on board. Stay tuned. Okay, so we've got the peas out of the microwave. What we're going to do is plate them up. So, bring that on. The pie will be along soon. Actually, but there we go. How's that? How's that look? Not as mushy as I would have expected, but mushy enough. So that'll do. It's time to roll. We are getting this pie. Oh, 
four and twenty pie. Aussie icon. Now he's on the bench. Very good. You know, Rob Vegas. Kitchen has all the facilities. Let's see if we can get everything in the camera there. So for a pie floater, you get your meat pie. Bang. There you go. You pop it in this gruel like pea soup. And then you pop some tomato sauce on top of it. And bang. That's a pie floater right there. How good is that? Um, probably not the best, but that's basically how you make it. I'll tell you what, this would be really rad on like a really cold night like once you come home from the pub and all of that but let's see how it rolls okay so we've got a bit of the pie ready to go and a second Yeah, oh, what Let's give it a crack. So you can see we got our pie, we've got some mushy peas, we've got tomato sauce, or ketchup, as they say. Tell you what, that's nice, good. Now, if you're on the way home after a gig or something like that, in the kebab shop or the Sivlaki place was closed, you're gonna get a hell of a lot of fun out of this. Especially if it's cold, like like yeah, a cold night. You can't go wrong with this. That's good stuff. It might look disgusting, but I really like that. Make them with party pies. That's fun. Anyway, you know the drill. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Have you ever had a pie floater? It's a real Aussie thing. So yeah, shout out. And I'll see you in the next video and look forward to hearing from you all. Cheers. Okay, so obviously we've got to get the cats off the bench as you do.